Hi guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the different operations up here right after this. So before we get started, um, I want to mention a few things. First, I'd like you to um, uh, look in the description for a download link for downloading this one and we'll be downloading uh, all these different uh, artboards that Affinity uh, has made so that uh, work along in the workbook but I'm just using these so I don't have to create examples for you and so also that if you have a workbook you can uh, work along just in case you don't quite understand the workbook so um, also I'd I'd highly recommend the workbook. It's, it's an awesome thing that can really help you in designing. And also include a, da uh, a link to buy that, uh, the Affinity Designer workbook in the description. So check those things out. And uh, but So let's get started. We have some different shapes up here at the top of the, the ice cream cone. And so first thing that uh, the workbook talks about is compounds so to, to do that you select each of your layers and then come up here and click on add but before you click on add uh, hit the option key and then click on add and it will turn it into a compound so that when you open your compound it will show all the things that you compounded together. As you can see there's a little blue add icon over here and that means that you have added it so you can always change that to intersect, subtract, or or combine. So um, that's pretty useful and uh, you can do that with all of them except for the divide one up here. I'm going to go ahead and hit command Z to undo what I just did and so then I can show you a few different other ways I do it okay so there's this other one that's called subtract and it's mainly probably for just two um, but what it does is it takes all the top layers and subtracts them from the bottom layer so as we hit subtract you'll be able to see that that's where the top layers went on top of the bottom layer. Hit Command Z, and um, this one is intersect. It just takes everything that um, is overlapping and uh, keeps that in since it was all overlapping. Okay, so now I'm just going to do this uh, second one with two. I'm going to select ellipse and rounded rectangle. And so this one's called intersect, and what it does is it just takes the ones that are overlapping, like the part that's overlapping. So as you can tell, this part is overlapping, so that's, that's the part it's going to take. And also, um, whenever you do one of these things, it's always going to take the color from the bottom layer, just so you know that. So if I change this bottom layer to like bright pink then if I selected these and then um, added them together then it would turn the whole thing pink because that is the bottom layer okay so and then there's this other one that's the opposite of intersect and it takes all the stuff that is not um, overlapping and it deletes the overlapping part and you can sort of see what's going to be happening by these little icons up here it's pretty easy to see what's going to happen so I um, hope this tutorial uh, helped you out and if it did then uh, please give me a like and if you want more Affinity Designer tutorials please subscribe and if you have any uh, suggestions for future tutorials for me um, please comment uh, thanks for watching